All right, what is up, you guys? This is going to be a first installment of some more killer gods I'm working on. This is taking me about two to three hours to actually get this stuff down. But um, today I'm going to do a console guide on how to play the nurse, um, some tips, strategies, uh, go over the perks and some other things, pretty much on a beginner level. And some of this stuff is not going to seem like beginner with all the changes to nurse and the matchmaking, but I promise you it is. This is, um, I have um, started playing nurse quite a bit more lately and I've honestly I've really enjoyed it. The one thing that attracted me to Nurse was obvious she's so she's fucking sexy as hell. Why would you not want to play her? Anyway, um, I just enjoyed the knowing that this was the hardest killer to master and that on console it's already so tough. Um, so this is kind of going to be my guide. We're going to talk a little bit about the settings and stuff that we're going to use. Um, currently, I think if you're going to use sensitivity now that they've raised the sensitivity, 100% um, to 150 is probably the max that I would go on console. I've tried some other ones, and 200% is just way too much. Um, you're going to mess up on a lot of blinks and a lot of things or whatever. So so for those that don't know, the nurse moves slower than the average survivor at like 93% speed is what I'm going to go by, even though it's like 3 point some meters, whatever, um, and relies on the ability to blink. Now, this, again, this is going to be more beginner friendly, so I'm going to suggest that going into this, we're not really going to look at builds as much we're going to look at more add-ons and stuff but i am going to mention some perks here so currently these are this is my tier list for the perks you should be running on nurse especially if you're at the beginner level um enduring spirit fury and um things like say the best for last useless um you don't need chase perks when you ignore most of the game's mechanics and you're already incredibly strong um sloppy's okay especially if you're running like an infectious fright build you're trying to keep them keep them injured or running thin out of phobia spies is okay ruin i mean nurse is one of few killers that doesn't need a gen slowdown um build as much but you can still run it discordance for information if you're not running something like whispers which by the way should be on here whispers should be probably in the a it's a good tracking perk uh pop goes the weasel if you really feel you you know you're still playing you want to keep the gens down because you're not the best at the at currently um, I usually don't recommend perks that involve touching gins as much on Nurse because you can snowball so hard. Um, but Barbecue, another tracking perk, Haunted Ground can be nice. Strider, if you're a beginner and you're kind of just learning how to play, I recommend perks like Strider. Um, I'm all ears, so when people vault and break line of sight that you'll be able to actually kind of track it decently. Um, same thing for Shadowborn. I recommend Shadowborn in every build. Um, it's a crutch. It's not going to be... You know, it's it's one of those things, if you can play without, do it. And if you can play without add-ons, I highly recommend not playing with add-ons for a while. Just get used to the blink. Get used to the way she works. Infectious Fright, more information, really good. Your base terror radius is 32 meters. You have the ability to, um, especially with Shadowborn, once you go into fatigue, possibly see people in enough time. I think every blink adds like a certain amount of time. I think the base fatigue, if I'm not mistaken, is two and a half seconds. Um, and then an additional blink is another second, which is um, 3.5. And then I think it's um, if you miss an attack, it's another second or something like that. I'm not going to go into too many details, but um, let's see. Nurse is calling another good tracking perk. Nurse can make such good use off of this, being able to blink through walls, areas, and stuff like that. Again, these are just the bare basics. Um, anything like slowdown, spies for tracking and whatnot. Again, this is just something you can kind of experiment with. Um, if you're a beginner, you know, you could probably, what I would probably run, um, if you're trying to get, you know, used to playing Nurse, I'd probably, this is the build that I would end up using. I would probably just use this build um, and go with, like, I'm All Ears or maybe Shadowborn over I'm All Ears just for the um, being able to track and get used to them breaking line of sight. The biggest issue that I see with a lot of Nurse players is holding on to their blinks too long and also swinging every chance they get. Um, the one thing that I love about people like Scott Jund and True Talent that play like Huntress and other and killers like that um, is the patience. And Nurse requires a lot of patience and a lot of blood pressure because you are going to get annoyed and you're going to get mad. Um, she's a tough killer to play and on console, but you will feel helpless. But this is going to be kind of my intro to how to go about playing as the Nurse. There might also be some other perks that might be good on her, like um, I don't even care. Well, you'll figure it out, but anything that involves chasing, you do not need Spirit Fury Enduring or Bamboozle. Um, agitation's okay. Being able to move faster while you're carrying somebody is a nice little um, change. Dying Light, sure. But these are kind of like the highest recommended. My build, personally, that I will always use is going to be this build right here. Um, Infectious Fright, Nurses, Shadowborn, and probably Pop Goes the Weasel. 
Um, but you have to be very careful with pop. You don't want to have to go out of your way to kick gins as a 93% movement killer. Someone who's slower than survivors. You can waste a lot of time. So you can swap that out with corruption. Not corruption. Corrupt intervention. So um, that's that's basically going to be it for that. Um, as far as add-ons, um, some of these are blink recharge add The blink recharge add-ons, um, the blink window add-ons, and the distance add-ons are the absolute best. Again, player with no add-ons. Get used to it. It is You need the muscle memory. It's good if you're a beginner. You can do some of the post um, the post chain blink fatigue reduction. Um, you can do the I think it's the flannel that shows you where you're going to blink. But again, those can be crutches that make it hard to play without. Same thing with the distance add-ons. If you can get enough time playing as nurse, you're going to do a lot better. I assure you. So these are just kind of where the add-ons are. I'm not a fan of any of the ones that remove blinks, line of sight, or the gimmicky kind of build, I don't care about the blinking pass survivors making them scream or the nurses one. These are pretty much your distance, your recharge rate um, are going to be your best ones for sure. As well as the, like I said, the chain blink window. One of the biggest problems that I see with a lot of people is they feel they have to use both blinks. And when you're not using add-ons, you can make the mistake of not having your second blink. And you hit a first blink and you're in the best position to where you can get another blink and get a guaranteed down. And then you realize you didn't wait long enough. So the survivor gets extra distance because of your mistake. And that becomes a big problem um, when you're playing nurse is the being so aggressive with your swings. Like you see them slightly in your frame and you freak out. So that's also why I recommend running Shadowborn as a beginner thing. But don't let it be too much of a crutch, even though I'm going to say I use it all the time just because... Nurse, I mean, really one of the few killers I find it useful on. So, that being said, we're going to jump into, and I'm going to put timestamps in the video for this for you guys. So, we're going to jump into my porn stash of um, Dead by Daylight porn, and we're going to pause this for sure. So, what I did in this game right here, this is me playing against a friend right now, and there's certain parts that I'm going to tell you where I told him what to do, and there's certain parts where I said, just run me, and I'm going to try to be next to you in, in range for a hit. Not actually hit, so we didn't have to keep healing. So, all right. So, the first thing I ended up, I'm going to end up doing here is, and this is what I recommend doing with a friend if you want to get used to the nurse or whatever. Um, as you can see, no add-ons. And just kind of seeing how the max charge, how far you actually get from it and whatnot. But... The, like I said, the big thing is people are so quick to feel like they have to use their second blink. And I'm going to show you examples of being patient with your blink. So I'm going to show one of the biggest um, counterplays to nurse and how to kind of time it here. Because, again, it's all timing. So this is where I had him just do the double back method, which is what you see a lot of people do. Is where you charge a blink and then they run towards you or double back after you blink. And you end up just over pursuing. And, again, now, in this situation... This is a big thing, very big thing. And get you have to, it's timing and patience and consistency. You're tempted to second blink here, right? Your chain blink, so your chain blink does not get you that far anyway. You are better off taking the fatigue because watch the meter right here. Fatigue, watch after the fatigue. By the time I'm done with fatigue, I've almost got two blinks again. So even if she gets a little bit of distance, I have my first blink, which is going to have the max potential for chase so again this is just another example of over pursuing and that's kind of what i wanted to show as far as um not using the chain blink if you over pursue don't panic and use your chain blink it, it just wastes more time if you're adding more time and distance to you that lets the survivor also know that you're being a little aggressive so try not to do that um so i did a solution for it this is going to be kind of how i go about Doing it so, runs back into me, obviously, and then runs back again, right? Close range, the short blinks, you can. it's easy to overcharge them when you're trying to get short blink range. So, let's see, 145 is where we do it. So, we blink, about to turn, we curve it a little bit, wait for the chain window, and rather than, rather, and the, and the big thing is, like, holding the chain blink too much is what's going to mess you up on the double back, because right here, Keep in mind, so here's the charge, and it's so there's so much detail, you guys, to, to play in Nurse when it comes to this. The charge here, he's turning. Knowing that he wants to turn, one of two things is going to happen. And, and again, I just told him to double back. I didn't, I didn't think he was going to turn, but it actually ends up working. Um, I had him turn, and I kind of curved it slightly. Now, curving still makes you go almost the same distance, 
but you're going to see how I end up slightly closer because I was kind of aiming towards the truck, and then I do a quick blink, a quick charge blink, because survivors aren't exactly just memorizing the chain blink window situation. So I was able to blink short to force them to come into me. And that's going to be just, that's just a very simple, you know, nurse type thing that you want to do. Um, I don't think I end up hitting him here. I think I just tell him to loop me on this so I can work on the blink and just give an example. But short blink there, body blocked the pallet a little bit, could have thrown it, didn't. Um, that's just another example. Blink it on him again and again. So the big thing, like I said, mastering the short blinks in these types of loops are important. Temple of purgation, um, some of the stuff on Gideon's. You have to be super um, careful. I fucked this up right here because I'm so good at nurse. Um, you're going to see kind of the blink here. So I blink to the ground. And that this is one of the, as you, the nurse is a feeling out process for survivors. You're going to be picking up on tendencies, picking up on things people do. And the great thing about humans, we love patterns. We love to do the same things that we know works and we don't really like change. So, but as a killer, you have to adjust. And my favorite thing to do, I love blinking to the ground on short loops, like right in front of me, to force them to double back. Um, you can bait and fake right, like you're aiming right, and then blink to the ground to force them to go back and nail the chain blink. Um, that's what I end up doing here. Blink there, boom. Just such a, it's it's a simple technique. You can do it when you accidentally overcharge and they're running towards you, um, which I'm going to show you later in the video as well. Um, we're going to go to 325 now. Um, this was the pa this was a pallet strategy, and this is a counterplay to pallet. So, when a pallet gets dropped and you blink or whatever, survivors can do one of two things: try to run around the pallet, especially if he knows you cannot um, blink through objects that well. If he sees you missing a lot of blinks, they're going to run around the pallet and just force you to try to hit him. Oh, excuse me. Um, you can do one of two things: you can blink to the other side of the pallet and go for the hit, or since you have a chain, remember your chain blink window is a brief opportunity to hit. And it's probably the best opportunity as far as capitalizing and being patient. you got to get a feel for the chain blink window. It's not just muscle memory and distance. Memorizing how long you have until you get to, to the chain blink. And I know, again, this is a custom game. I have actual gameplay I'm going to go over and kind of show you in a second. So here's what would normally happen with survivors. You blink there. You're like, oh, you're trying to see if he's going to jump back and bait it. And they just end up vaulting it, right? So now we're going to go here. And what I have him do is do the same thing, play it like he normally would on the pallet. But rather than blink through, if I know a survivor's camp in the pallet, they're not trying to make any distance, I'm going to blink straight to the ground. It's going to be a pretty quick blink, and I still have my chain blink up. So then it becomes the survivor's um, chance to make a mistake, because they're close enough to where they're not going to be able to get like a running vault or whatever, and you get to see what they're, what they're going to do. So I blink to the front. Rather than, and it's, all you have to do is just aim slightly down. You don't want to go through the pallet. Aim slightly down, and you get a hit. If they stay there, you have the chance to chain blink again. You can bait with your blinks. Now, you can, you risk wasting time, but in an open area like this, it's not a bad idea whatsoever. So let's go to, um, we have some Shaq stuff here, and I wanted to talk about this a little bit. Shaq is probably my biggest weakness with Nurse. Um, it's really easy for me to, to mess this one up. So we're going to blink here. I go into the basement because that's where I want to be, right? <laughs> um, be careful with that. Make sure you know where the basement is because that will and the level that you're at. Because what I was trying to actually do, um, I was trying to do the same thing where I blink like close to the ground to see if he'll vault it. But I end up going to the basement and it's just hard to get out. So um, right here, do we, get a, do we go for a hit or do we just, um, I can't remember what we do here. Oh yeah, we blink here. And rather, okay, so yeah, we're, that was our chain, that was our one blink, so 453, I'm going to blink here, and this is, um, this is what happened here too, so this is kind of how you can play the shot, it's very, it's a very tedious process depending on the survivor, my friend's a rank one, um, and again, this is one of the loops I said, just run it and I'm going to try my best, so I, I blink once to try to get him to throw the pallet, see if he tries to get the vault. Um, I'm going to hold my chain blink, and you're going to see me kind of aim it like I was going to, or kind of aim around here um, as he goes for like a window fake, and he ends up running into me. He could have got a hit there, so, but I ended up swinging around him to try not to make us have to heal a lot. Um, when you get survivors that bait a lot, it's safe to assume that they're not going to go to that window, and I can't tell if the entity ever blocked it beforehand maybe, and that's why he didn't do it, but let's see. We have 552 here. Let's see. This was one of my 
Okay, so yeah, this was one. This was the the double backing thing or whatever with the blinks and whatnot. Um, let's see. Should be at the six minute mark. So I'm gonna show you again. This is a this is an, another example. So you saw me do the short range blink to the front to bait them. Now you're gonna see me just blink straight down. So I'm charging it. Obviously, he's coming back. I'm gonna have too much distance if I continue. Aim straight to the ground. Avoid the basement. Like I said, aim straight to the ground. It's one of the most basic nurse. Um, nurse text, whatever you want to call it, that you can do there. Now we're going to go to 758. And again, it's muscle memory and timing, not freaking out. Like the biggest thing also is when you blink and you don't see the, if you don't see the survivor, it's it's just so much timing. It's not panicking and swinging, which adds an extra second and a half or whatever. And it's, if you don't see a survivor after you do your first blink, at a certain loop or whatever, you are almost guaranteed to be better off not using your second blink, not panicking. So um, you have to really get used to it. If you don't see them on your screen, do a quick, you know, left, right look. If you run a Shadowborn, it's going to help a lot. Um, this was just a dead hard counter um, for just kind of how to counter play against dead hard. It's going to be, it's not, there's not much in depth about it. You know, it's sometimes it's the timing of the player, sometimes it's the nurse. So we end up doing this. We go for the dead hard thing again. I'm going to show you kind of how when I know my survivor has dead hard. Because if you hit two blinks or one blink and swing and miss, the penalty is so much. So dead hards, hold the chain blink. I was able to bait the dead hard. The first time he actually waited for me to swing. So I'm kind of curious as to maybe it was just an inconsistency in what he does. But now we're going to jump to the gas station now these are more line of sight things if you don't have line of sight with survivors and you can't predict the exact loop or where they're going to be um then you, you don't need to um if you don't have line of sight you need to try not to blink now if there's scratch marks it's a little bit better but just depending on the range and where you're at with a long blink you run a big risk of over pursuing and the survivors can kind of having the view that they have can kind of bait you into going one way by pretending they don't see you going left. You charge a super long blink and then they double back and you can't see it because they're breaking line of sight. This is another example. Short blink, cut off the window. Again, once you catch survivors who like to double back a lot, you can get them. Now, sometimes they'll do the double back fake. This is another example. So this was where I was telling him to just run. I'm just going to try to keep up with him and pretend that I would actually get the hit. And this is one thing. I still do this. I still do this on occasions. Line of sight broken. This would have been a good prediction by me, but he heard the blink charge and he stayed over there. Now, now this is going to be – this is just another another thing right here, right? So he's got me once with a fake, which means he's going to do one of two things. He's going to fake again or he wants to not do the same thing over and over. My friend is a really good fucking survivor, okay? So keep that in mind. Um – so what I'm looking for here is something that I didn't see him do before. And again, it's tendencies. This is just one survivor. So imagine trying to keep up with four and what they do. That makes it a little bit tougher, but I'm telling you, you can get the grasp on it if you practice. So I see him here. He's kind of looking back, but he hasn't gone back yet. If he really wanted to double back, he could just run into me and probably have no problem with it because my, he knows my blink is full charge. Knowing that he's going inside, my one prediction, and this is kind of where the predicting and knowing survivor tendencies is going to come in. I'm guessing he's going to go to the window. Um, me being the super amazing nurse player that I am, boom, right in front of the window. <laughs> so that was my guess there. Um, it really could have gone wrong if he just went over there. And you know, we were kind of surprised too because I was like, damn, I really did predict that. Um, he had a lot of places he could have gone in there. But with um, playing against a nurse and stuff, you usually want to break the line of sight. So it was a good guess on my part. Um, where are we at now? 11.58? There's one more thing in, in this video I think I was trying to show. And again, I was just keeping up with him here, um, using some blinks. There wasn't really, wasn't really anything crazy. Um, okay, so yeah, the rock. Um, the biggest, my biggest fear as a nurse player is rocks like these. Um, keep this in mind. You almost always need a full charge of a blink almost to get this, to get through this. Um, I held it there. I'm going to go up here right in front of him. And again, it's predictions, especially if, honestly, if, and a lot of times it, it works out. You're going to see in the next video because I had a Nia that had, that tried to go on top of the rock, I think, with balance landing. But this was pretty much just the gist of um, playing nurse. It's the timing, being patient. When you blink the first time, and you if you blink the first time and have a survivor in your sights, make sure you know what what they um 
try to figure out what they're going to do. When you blink once and you're on their back, that survivor a lot of times is going to either double back or wait for you to charge another blink. Or say, example, you don't have a lot of distance. That's actually a better example. So you don't have a lot of distance. Um, they know you're going to use a short blink. And you can catch so many survivors double backing. And again, after you blink, and I'm going to show you in this video because this one's done right here. Um, after you blink, this is going to be your best um, best example of um, feeling out for the survivors. So obviously I'm ranked 3. I've played a couple games here. But the the more important game is this nurse game. So I'm a P3 nurse, rank 3. Um, I, may, I don't have a lot of perks. I end up accidentally taking three perks. I don't even take all my perks in. We get a really kind of rough map. The last time I played on this map, I got bullied all to hell. Um, we only we have ner we have some really shitty perks. We have no add-ons. We have nurses one, shadowborn, and thanatophobia. And again, I see a survivor here, which is um, it's gonna be a pretty easy start, I think. So let me see where I have the timestamps on right here. Um, I think that's what one ten. Yeah, right here. So. I don't recommend walking too much as nurse. I just kind of did it because there's so many things that I can miss blinking on this type of tile. So you're going to see me. I find this Jake. He's so immersed. Um, he ended up having dead heart, I think. So, again, this is going to be the patience right here. So it's one blink. But I also know that I probably blinked too far. So rather than let him dead heart or bait out a swing, um, I end up blinking to the other side because I just want to ensure that I get this down. So I blink here and then get the down. He has no intent on just jumping back and forth against the nurse. He knows I have two blinks. So um, it's just that was just me securing and being patient with the chain blink, even though I probably could have. I could have got that hit. That was an easy hit that I definitely could have got. Um, 112, 25. Let's see. Um, all right. So, again, I end up – I get gin rush pretty bad. I think I still get a 3K. So – Okay, yeah, so this is when I hit this Nia, and the reason I'm not showing the first hit is because there was, like, I think I ended up actually getting a couple hit. Like, I just got a free hit just by walking up, which is absolutely amazing for Nurse. Um, so I'm going to show you kind of a mistake I make here. I assume she's going to that side of the pallet. I really didn't think she would double back. For her to let me hit her, um, I didn't think she'd double back. So I'm feeling out a little bit of how she's playing. She's going to get distance. Now, notice I'm not panicking to use my blink. Pay attention to your blink meter. This is why I say no add-ons, because once you have add-ons, you'll realize that sooner, and, you know, you'll be even better with a recharge add-on. You'll make up extra distance. So, big rock. Simple prediction. It's a Nia. I'm just going to assume balance. She doesn't have balance, but I go to the top of the rock here. I see where she wants to go. And, again, one thing. <laughs> oh, let me pause. There we go. Hold up, let's see before I can explain this. All right. All right, so we're going to go back to this real quick. Um, I got a little distracted. All right. Um, so, again, the big thing here is going to be going to the top here. And what you're going to want to do, especially when you're playing this, um, so, obvious. so I want you to keep in mind this real quick. Let's see. So, again, basic prediction. We're assuming she's breaking line of sight. That's going to be the goal for her here. Um, we're going to get to the top. And rather than immediately chain blinking and risking going down, we wait as long as possible to ensure we can get a short blink. Notice how she kind of doubled back and was looking at me. She's going to go straight down here, and we're going to just jump down with her. No chance for balance. I can't even remember if she ended up having balance. So not much happens here, just a lot of hits and a lot of different chases. Um... We'll go to 16.10 real quick. So I was waiting because they were coming in this area. So rather than hit right here, I didn't want to risk getting in the animation of um, hitting someone still on the hook and just wasting a fatigue and my blink. Um, and again here, I'm going to blink through to the pallet. This is where predictions come in, come in handy right here. You have one of two choices. You can either not blink and just get your second charge or you can either blink to the middle or go through the window. Let's see, where do I end up doing this at again? I just had it. All right. So, waited right here. Blink behind her to make sure we hit the Neo. We don't want to hit anybody with borrowed time. We need to make maximum use of our ability. So, you're going to see it here. 
uh, I'm going to get a short blink where I was honestly trying to get over the pallet. And this is where the quick thinking and just kind of predictions come in handy. I either can blink into the shack or go for the window. I'm going to assume that she wants to go through the window. Pallet's down. I already missed my first blink. She probably would have been smarter to just run straight through the shack knowing it's a chain blink. But I go through here and I'm like, okay, you're going to go here. And then boom. Just easy, just a prediction. The tendency is the more you play survivor, the more you think like survivor. The more you play killer, the more you learn. And that's just going to be the gist of it when you're playing, especially on console. Again, I'm on 100% sensitivity. Or no, I think I'm on 125. 125 sensitivity. Um, let's see. 2010 was another. This is another down here. Um, we got some pressure. One gen left. Um, one dead. Uh, another person near death. Um, I, like I said, actually, I forgot to bring another perk. I was going to bring Infectious Fright, but and having this nurse is pretty bad. So again, this is another decision. This is decision making right here. Um, my second, my, my chain blink, by the time I get a max chain blink, he'll either be at this pallet or he'll have max distance. I go down two blinks and have to wait um, even longer to use it. So I take my one blink and I say, all right, I'll have my two blinks to work on this, on this side if he decides to go to Shack or the loop. And that's what we end up doing. Um, my other, that, this is one of my favorite things to do as well, by the way, um, that you can kind of bait with this because nurse, you can really be unpredictable with nurse. And he, here's the, here's the example that I'm going to give. So he sees me blinking and this is what I notice a lot of survivors do because with, um, with hunters, you can flick the hatchets and stuff and they expect it. They don't really expect nurses to flick their hand, but some of them pay attention to that and will use how you're going to blink against them. Um, so right here, what we do, we aim it like we're going here. So he saw me going here, and he's, he's cutting back. So I'm going to flick it over here to the left. And I'm just going to make sure that I actually get the hit because he had Dead Heart earlier that he actually hit me with that I couldn't find, but I wanted to show that. Also, and again, I want to show a reason that I lost this guy in the beginning over here. Um, I can't remember what I did. I tried to... Yeah, I messed that up right there. That was the one where I messed up. I had a good prediction on that. And let's see, I tried to, I didn't expect him to do that, so I tried to blink down and hit him, but then I forgot the basement was there, so again, that just comes with awareness of um, the map and stuff that you get that you get as you go on. It should be in the room. Um, let's see. Alright, so, and again, we're not going to make this video too long, but we're going to go 2510, let's see. And I'll probably do it more advanced with like the add-ons and stuff. I don't know how that didn't hit, by the way. So 2510. I think she gives me like a free hit because I, I just choose to cut her off. This Meg was one of the weaker teammates here. Um, I make the mistake. I also pay attention. Again, this is exactly why the muscle memory comes in handy. Um, because you're gonna see me actually after you're gonna see me wait too long to use a blink, or not wait long enough to get my second blink, and I want you to see how close this is gonna be. So we try to get the hit, which we really should have got. And all right, we wait. Um, and now look where my blink is at. <laughs> like you're gonna do that sometimes, but my muscle memory is pretty close with this. That being said, um, I was expecting a chain blink, and I got really sad when I, <laughs> as I was holding the first blink, and I was like, oh. But um, we end up getting the down here. This I don't think this was any. I don't think she did anything really impressive. Yeah, she just takes it. She's I don't know what she was doing. This was I think the low rank one. I can't remember. Um, we blink. We're gonna blink towards this window because we're assuming she's there, and we're just gonna cover her there. So again, I think most players in this situation, as a nurse, and again, like I said, I'm waiting. I'm. It's a lot of it's preserving your blinks, especially with the new nurse the way she is. So I get a hit. Um, she's trying to break line of sight a little bit. Um, I know she's gonna vault that. There's no point in me trying to chase her there. I'd rather keep her from this door if I can, because if I chase her here and I miss. It's even more straight shot for the door, and I run the risk of her friend taking a hit as well. Like I said, a lot of it's just kind of prediction as well. So rather than that, I try to get to the other window. Um, if she doubles back, that's fine. I am completely fine with the double back here. So if she double back, she's going away from the door. So short blink, boom, and we're just going to get it easy down. And that ends up being the, the gist of it. I think um, we just kind of camper. I mean, there's no point in what's it called. Also, I think I got really close to hitting him right here. I was really mad that it didn't hit. Wee! So, um, I really enjoyed playing Nurse. It's such a fun, like, rewarding feeling to hit your blinks and to know play to a certain extent. I got Brutal Killer, which was really depressing, to be honest. But, 
Um, we were playing. Were we playing against a good team? Yeah, we're playing against a rank three, eleven, five, and six. So nothing too crazy. Um, did the knee actually have balance? Yeah, she did. I think she did. Pretty sure the knee was the first one to die. So again, like I said, a lot of it really just comes down to maximizing your blink potential and just being able to be patient with some of your blinks because survivors, every survivor is different and is going to react in such a different way when you blink. If you can master people double backing or faking double back or just master knowing how far you need to blink to get here, um, you'll be in a good spot. I think that's one of the things that a lot of people don't really don't really get with the nurse. And again, I ended up going here, right? Yeah, I did pretty good. He dead hard, I think. I ended up messing that up. But again, a lot of it just becomes predictions and just kind of pick up on tendencies of survivors. I don't know why she stayed there. Oh, she took that. That's right. But... Um, I don't think there's anything else crazy about this game that I did, um, other than get the hook here. Like I said, I'm not using the best perks, like the Nat, I don't really like the Natophobia anyway, I don't really like, um, what's it called, the Nurses 1 is absolutely horrific, but, um, we do a good job here, and again, this Meg was... Again, I knew this mag has not really double-backed or done anything impressive, so what we do here is we just ended up using such a short blink, and I was like, I'll just go for the hit. I haven't seen an exhaustion perk, but I'll take the risk. This mag played very sloppy. But um, it didn't take long for most of these gens to get done. Like, where? what, what a time did it start? Like, a 111, or no, 110? Yeah, 110. Uh, three minutes in and three gens done? Yeah, that's about right. Four minutes in, three, four gens done? But we were able to hold on to the last one for quite some time. But like I said, once you just, I recommend going in, testing the max distance, and figuring out what, what the shortest distance you need to clear certain obstacles. Um, I blink most of the time. I try not to, to use two blinks in case, because here's what happens if you use two blinks here. And this is another thing. Just pick up on these tips, write them down, memorize them, whatever. If I use a second blink and go over here, not only is my fatigue longer, um, but I run the risk of not seeing them even with Shadowborn. Shadowborn one's not that great. So again, it's it's going to be about consistency, using your blinks, waiting for your charge time, and that was just a simple prediction. Like he didn't have too many options, and I still have two blinks and no fatigue, so I don't waste time. Um, but like I said, you can use whatever perks you want. Um, I was pretty comfortable on this map, and I thought I think someone ran over here. I think that's why I was trying to go over here. Oh, was she over there? Yeah, someone was over there. Like I said, Shadowborn 3, so good. Shadowborn is the reason I can play this nurse decent. Um, I've been playing a lot of nurse lately, and it's just been a very rewarding, fun thing to do on console. Especially, you know, where, you know, everyone's pretty set on, you know, nurse. Not They're not being really, like, a incredibly good nurse on console. It makes me really want to try. So I, I worried about him trying to jump through here. Like I said, I'm just going over random stuff now, but... Um, yeah, this is where the shack stuff happened. I got shacked up pretty hard by him. That's actually why I lost the gens the way I did. Was um, I ended up struggling to actually get him um, at the shack. He ran me for a very long time. Yeah, and then that was just a bait there. And I was out of a blink. Did I even have my other blink? On? Yeah, I have my other blink almost recharged. So but that became my fault there. Um, as you'll see right here. Oh, hold up. Where's the, where's the part where I didn't charge the other blink? Oh, no, that was the basement part. Yeah. So, huh, all right. Yeah, I waited right there. You can see the tendency there that I did that. And if I had that second blink, he just keeps going. I think um, the Jake was the best one on the team. But like I said, um, I hope this guy helps you, helps out a little bit, you guys. Um, I did some slugging as well to kind of keep certain survivors down, avoid eating any DSs, even though I prefer to eat them early so I don't have to worry about them in in-game. Um, overall, it was a fun game. It was um, one of my better games. Almost pipped off of it. Um, so yeah, this team, you know, with the toolboxes, brand new part, I was still able to keep pressure with just the three perks that were not that great. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, like I said, I'll do a more advanced on some of the other things that you can do, but I just wanted to give you an idea of certain ways um, people will play against you as a um, nurse or whatever. And just kind of getting used to, after you blink, you know, flicking left stick left and right. Like, looking, trying to catch, pay attention to detail and not get tunnel vision. It's a very rewarding killer that can be very, um, a very fun experience once you get it mastered. And it's even harder on console. So if you can do it well on console, you know, go for it. 
Um, other than that, though, um, I'll do another, you know, another killer guide here shortly. Maybe another one for Nurse talking about some of the tougher maps. I had recorded gameplay on Larry's, but it got deleted, which sucked because I ended up getting a 4K on, like, two rank ones and some rank threes. And it was probably my best game as Nurse. So, that being said, I'll see you guys for another video. Play Nurse. Please don't give up. We need more Nurse mains out there. It is so fun. Even though it probably will eventually give you high blood pressure in your 30s. That's okay, though. So, thanks again, you guys. I hope this helps. And um, I'll see you guys for another video.